Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And a couple of days ago, I did a really stupid, random, funny poll on my Twitter about people's assumptions about me. And I kind of realize now that um, <laughs> maybe I should have made all the questions a bit more flattering to myself. Because this can be very awkward. But I am going to read the results and see what people's other people who follow me assumptions about me are okay now i'm gonna warn you straight away right now that uh <laughs> i did not create some of these questions and some of them are a little bit rest assured that the person who did come up with them has been dealt with and will no longer be an issue okay so yeah so some may be a little yeah okay <laughs> okay so i guess the first question is kind of kind of tame and it's uh what nationality am i and the four choices were north american irish welsh or english okay and 11% said North American. I am not North American. Although, although, <laughs> uh, a very long time ago, I did have a, a, like a great, 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 great granddaddy who was a sailor and he was from Massachusetts. And I guess he was married already and had a kid in America. <laughs> But he ended up sailing to England and meeting my great 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 grand mom. And uh, he never went back. And he was a bigamist. So, uh, <laughs> thanks, dude. <laughs> a lot of bigamists in my family. It's just, you know, uh, no one said Irish. And while I wasn't born in Ireland, I do have Irish blood so yay uh 58 percent said welsh you are correct 31 percent said english this is kind of a complicated question because i was born in wales i was raised in wales i live in wales i do have some welsh ancestry but i have more english ancestry than welsh and my ancestry is kind of like all over the place like it's like my ancestors just came from everywhere okay like everywhere like the middle east um uh, eastern europe everywhere we 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 were everywhere how old am i now you know i'm not happy with some of the answers i'm just gonna put it out there i'm not i'm not happy with some of the answers uh no one voted 20 to 25 okay you were correct. 64% voted 25 to 35. You were correct. I am between 25 and 35. More closer to 35 these days, but anyway, that's what happens when you hit 30. 18% voted 40 to 50. Now, even on my worst days, even when I wake up and I look like an utter zombie, okay, and I scare myself when I look in the mirror, I do not look 40 to 50, okay? The hell? <laughs> and 18% voted 35 to 40. Now, this is offensive to me also, because I also do not look 35 to 40. We, some people, you and I, we need to speak. We need to speak, talk. Okay, the next question is, do I have a crush? And the, the, the answers are yes, no, and crush, aren't you a nun? Which, yeah, that's the, the new... <laughs> I'm a nun now. 78% voted yes. Now, probably a few of these people 
know me, so they are aware that yes, indeed, I do have a crush. It's well documented. And maybe even the woman who voted, I don't know. <laughs> no one voted no. And 22% voted, crush, aren't you a nun? And in which case, you would say, yes, yes, I am in the process of becoming a nun. I think I may already have become one. Who knows? Do I prefer bronze or brunettes? And 30% said blondes, 30% said brunettes, and 40% said why choose? I have to agree. <laughs> why choose? Although I do have a little bit of a reputation for preferring blondes, but that's just me. I'm sorry, I'm not the... On a scale of 1 to 100, how cool do you think I am? The 13% who voted 1 to 25. Hmm. Not percent voted 25 to 50. 63 percent voted 50 to 70 percent. And 24 percent voted 70 to 100. Okay, so the people who voted for 50 to 70, which I'm, I'm, I'm mostly cool, but also a little bit not cool. <laughs> you know, it's cool to be uncool, right? You know that, yeah? You know this, okay? I'm just saying, but the one, the one person who thinks I'm really uncool, ah. Can I cook? And, uh, 30% said, yes, I'm the next Nigella Lawson. And 20% uh, said, no way. And 30% said, undecided. Actually, I'm a very good cook. Actually, maybe not on Nigella level because she's Nigella. But I am actually a very good cook. So, screw you, the undecided. Okay, because I'm really good. This is an interesting question. What sexuality am I? So 10% said straight. I don't know. I, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> and while I don't have my uh, sexuality in my bio, I think it's kind of obvious that I am. I don't really thirst over dudes, um, obviously, because I'm gay. And 40% said lesbian, so well done to you. No one said bi or pan. And 50% said labels are for soup tins. The next question is, what's my philosophy in life? And 13% uh, said hot chocolate on tap, I wish. 38% said pizza is life. Uh, not percent said big feet means big shoes. Did nobody get that, like, reference? And 49% said baboons are cool. Yeah, they are cool, okay? Listen. <laughs> I've recently, right? Don't even ask how it started, okay? But it started, okay? This story, this idea in my head about this troop of baboons, especially this one. And I kind of turned it into a children's story, okay? So I'm writing a children's story now. Uh, I'm going to, uh, when, I, when it's more feasible, um, money-wise, I'm going to get illustrations put with the, the book and... Yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of excited about it. It's kind of fun to write, it doesn't take very long, It's you don't have to delve in really deep, it's just a kid's story about a baboon and his lack of luck. I don't know, I think, I don't know, I, I find it fun, I don't know. I need a pen name now because I can't really have my mm, more adult writings mixed with the children's stuff. Oh, dudes, this is a, this is a, personal one, deeply, deeply personal. 
equal strikes the equal how attractive am i okay 13 percent said face for radio so that's of the people who voted that's one person Okay. Fifty percent said kinda okay, I guess. And I have to tell you I'm happy with that. I'm kinda okay. I they guess. Brilliant. Thirteen percent said hot. And twenty four percent said let me give you my number. I gotta tell you, those two last ones were the joke things put in there but what <laughs> I will give you the address of my optometrist he'll sort you out all <laughs> <sighs> oh, my DMs are open you know <laughs> okay what do I think about when I'm alone 11% said wholesome things. Wholesome things like like apple pies and... No, I can't even do that. I thought of apple pies and I went straight to American pie. Hmm. 33% <laughs> said boobs. 33% uh, said my next murder victim. What the fudge? And 23% said myself. Thanks, people. You think I'm really self-centered? <laughs> but I just think about myself when I'm alone. Okay. Uh, but, uh, boobs is wrong. Uh, my next murder victim. What the fuck? <laughs> I'd have to have a first for... <laughs> I'm not confessing to murder, right? I'm not confessing to something I haven't done. Um, I think of wholesome things, sometimes. You know what? It's a, it's a mix of all wholesome things, boobs, myself. Actually, I'm, I'm not really a boob woman. I, I, I'm more of a butt girl, uh, but okay. <laughs> they didn't put that in. I told you I didn't think of most of these things, and I'm going to kill whoever did. Okay, the next one is, am I single? And 44% said, yeah. 22% uh, said, no. Oh, you people are hopeful. And 22% uh, said, too cool to settle down. I love you. And 12% said, dating your hand. Thank you. And yes, I am single, obviously. I clearly haven't met those people who think I'm hot and want to give me their number in real life. <clears throat> this is actually really funnier. <laughs> oh, okay, this is... <laughs> what do you think of me? Okay, and 29% said, Yeah, kind of annoying. <laughs> Did did my mother vote in this? <laughs> okay, and uh, forty three percent said cool, I guess. Uh, Twenty nine percent said got a little crush. Holy shit! Seriously? Seriously? Now I'm thinking like, who are these people? <laughs> and not percent said sexy as hell. I have actually found some belief in humanity at this point there's no one looking at me and saying dang that girl <laughs> no way in hell okay do i agree with pineapple on pizza or think it's an abomination 88 percent said i agree that pineapple believe belongs on pizza and 12% said, I think it's an abomination. Well, 12%, you're wrong. Because I double up the pizza. I mean, I double up the pineapple on the pizza. I love pineapple on pizza, okay? You know when you when you order um, chicken satay from Chinese as well? 
and it comes with like the pineapple at the bottom of the peanut sauce and and the chicken. I eat that pineapple too. I love pineapple. I love it. How do you think I stand politically? Okay, this will be interesting. Fourteen percent say liberal. I'm not liberal. I'm not a liberal. Nord percent said centralist. Correct. Seventy-one percent said socialist. Correct. Fifteen percent said conservative. You think I'm a conservative? No, no offense if you are. Okay. But um, you there's no way you can talk to me and think I'm a conservative. Well, maybe there is. If you kind of, mm, yeah, maybe there is. <laughs> maybe that's where that came from. But I am a socialist. I am a Marxist socialist. Yes, I have read Marx and Engels. <laughs> Am I off oh, for fudge sake? This is another one of these questions that will be TMI, and I apologize in advance. Am I a top or a bottom? This is an interesting one. Thirty-three percent say top. Thirty-three percent say bottom. And thirty-four percent say switch. <laughs> yeah, now I gotta admit which one is right. I am a top. Sorry <laughs> to disappoint everybody else. <laughs> Not every top has to be like a raging. <laughs> oh, for fudge sake! I can guarantee that the person who did these is, um, well, I'm planning my next murder victim, let's just put it that way. <laughs> oh, here we go. Do I wear a strap on? I'm gonna kill this person. 78% said yes. <laughs> You're correct, but not all the time. 11% said no, and 11% said all the time. Yeah, you would be correct. What do I notice first about someone? Uh, dimples, face dimples as well, not butt dimples. 18% said dimples. 45% said freckles. 9% said boobs. And 28% said smile. Okay, well, I'm, I'm weird. And um, <laughs> it's not boobs. Uh... Or anything like that, actually. Unless they're, like, in your face, and then you can't avoid it. <laughs> but, um, freckles, actually, uh, I think they're cute. And, um, and then it's a smile. Uh, yeah. I'm weird. Um, yeah. I never really, um, <laughs> I never really work my way to more body parts because uh, I don't know I kind of again I say I'm weird um I like a person's how to say it how they are so I notice the freckles I notice the smile I notice their eyes their eyes are probably really high on the list <laughs> As well, they, they, they didn't put eyes on this list, but eyes. I think eyes are beautiful. Eyes can be beautiful and terrifying. I believe that they are the windows to the soul, but also they can be misleading because uh, I get told a lot mine look like serial killer eyes. Um, but they're just really dark, um, midnight blue. And uh, <laughs> when, when you get closer to them, uh, you realize that there's actually two shades of blue, a darker and a lighter, and there's green and grey in the middle. And and when I'm happy, the, gr the green comes out more and my eyes get lighter. And then when I'm sad or angry, the darker blue just seems to take over everything and it looks almost black, it's a bit weird. But yeah, midnight blue. This is the last one, thankfully. What do I like best about a woman? Intelligence, 
and 36% voted at smile 9%, looks 18 and 37% voted for ability to multitask. That is important, okay, to be able to multitask. Uh, but yeah, I've just said it, intelligence. I maybe not even intelligence, but like how a person is, you know, um how they are with people, how they speak, you know, there's like, when someone speaks and you could just like listen to them for an eternity and it, it would never get boring, you know, because like everything they say is just like, there's nothing, they're not snagging people off or, I don't know. It's just how they are, I guess, and how they speak. Looks... Uh, I don't know, looks are weird, because I feel like looks are kind of important, because, like, the individual you are attracted to, like, a person. and it, But that attraction might start with, I really don't find this person very attractive, and then you can like spend time with them and over time that grows, right? So I feel like looks maybe aren't that important. I don't know. Initially, I feel like they are. But in long term, I feel like they aren't. So, I mean, because for me... <laughs> When I'm listening to someone speak, when I'm, like, spending more time with them, just, like, absorbing everything about them, that's when that comes. Like, you can be attracted to someone's outer exterior, and because that's, like, basically the first thing you see. But once you get to know them, and it can either get deeper and more of a thing, or it can just, like dissipate and it's gone so it kind of depends on them so you can be like the hottest person in the world considered by society and actually there'll be many people who aren't really into you 50% said I'm kinda okay I guess yeah gonna put that on a t-shirt 13% said hot Seriously, and who's the who's the people who voted for these that I'm hot and that they'd give me their number? See, who are these people? Drop your names, people. <laughs> Drop your names. Drop them. <laughs> before I join the convent. <laughs> do I have to be a Catholic before I do that? Do I have to convert to Catholicism? Because, like... <laughs> okay, so that is the last of the questions. And, um, yeah. Maybe not as embarrassing as I thought they'd be. <laughs> but some people. You know, this is just meant to be a fun, stupid, random video that I... I kind of did when I... I wasn't really feeling in a great headspace this last week. And I kind of just wanted something to kind of laugh at. And what better things to laugh at than yourself? Uh, it's important to never take yourself too seriously in life. And always be the first person to laugh at yourself. Because, well, I found out that once you do that, people kind of lose the will to laugh at you in a mean way because you've already done it for them in a much funnier, in a far classier way. So I'm going to get going now, and uh, <laughs> I think it will be a little while before I do another one of these type of things. I need to recover. <laughs> and go and investigate these people. <laughs> Until next time, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.